half a day and good evening Guam. If you are just getting home and perhaps wondering why we don't have electricity, that's precisely because GPA experienced an island-wide blackout just after 3.30 this afternoon. Now, agency spokesman Art Perez says they're in recovery mode and working on getting critical areas up first. And as they work to restore power, residents can expect power fluctuations. Paris urges residents to ensure their sensitive items such as air conditioners and computers are protected. Joining us now on the line with the very latest is GPA spokesperson Art Paris. Art, what is the update? The update is that I can report to your viewers and listeners on, the, on KUM 610 is that at, at 6 p.m. this evening, the island wide power system has been about 60% restored. Uh, breed. That's about, uh, well, a large part of our island is, is in restoration, and I expect that uh, later on this evening I'll make sure I give the new, newsroom an update on how, how, how much farther we progress. But uh, initial investigation at this point reveals from my uh, all operations people that a static line had severed within the core of our switch chart here at Cabris. Now, the switch chart is immediately behind Cabris 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's, uh, and what, what had happened was this severed line had, had cross face had fell across several breakers within the switch yard. And part of our protection system for our generators is that if there's a line fault, and that's exactly what this down static line had caused, it caused a line fault within the switch yard, uh, these generators would isolate and protect themselves. And that's what happened. Cabras 1, 2, 3, and 4 all isolated as a result of this down severed line. And at that time, it was carrying about 200 megawatts of load just coming out of our base load uh, generation area here at Cabras Island. Uh, we utilize all four base loads as the most efficient way to produce power at any time to serve our island. And uh, when all four go off at one time, that's what led to the blackout. It was too significant a load for us to recover from with backup units. But, uh, you know, within, within about 30, 40 minutes, uh, excuse me, within about an hour of the blackout, we began restoration with areas up in uh, by Leo Palace and also with Machechi. And then from then on, we started energizing more critical circuits like, towards the hospital, towards major water wells. So we have GPA personnel out there right now. If you see their blinkers on, their hazard lights, to, uh, they're most likely responding to different areas of our island to make sure they're able to close more circuits and restore our power as we're able to bring up more units. So if, if, if uh, any of your viewers or listeners are having any more power fluctuations, please give our dispatchers here a call, uh, here at GPA Dispatch a call. That number to call before 75. 1472 3 or 4 and if they're still having power problems up, uh, up at that time power fluctuations we, we can log it down and there's still more problems after full restoration we can send these line crews out to to see what's causing what's causing that power quality issue and then we can have it resolved at the same time and of uh, the island was restored can you give us a, a little bit more of a, a breakdown of which villages have power right now sure uh, as, a, as a 6 p.m. this uh, evening with the exception of two areas I just mentioned we have parts of Dededo running towards Route 16, down toward, uh, up, excuse me, up towards Legal and Terrace, areas of Pocket, uh, up, uh, up and down route, uh, route 15, going towards parts of Jigo. Then on the other side, towards more central areas, we have Aganya, Barragada. We've also energized the circuit towards the hospital, parts of Ipa Road, Central Timoning, San Antonio area, and outlying areas of Zotnia. Uh, within the hour, we should, ha we should have restored circuits down south and more areas like Senahanya, Aganya Heights, and Order Chalampago and then other parts of Timuni we should have restored. Uh, again, uh, I will stay tuned to KUEM News just to get the latest up update. But until then, please protect your, your sensitive equipment, be it uh, air conditioners or, or uh, electronic and, um, and uh, computer equipment, and isolate them. If there's uh, any power fl fluctuations, at least uh, those units can be protected. And give, our, uh, give us a call again at 475-1472-304, and we could resolve those, uh, those issues with uh, a line crew heading out to your area.